Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Hong Kong Wine and Dine Festival 2020 Online Master Classes Wine and Spirits Talks organized by Hong Kong Tourism Board. When we talk about tonic, what would you think of? Yes, it's gin. But how much do you know about gin? And besides tonic, what else could you mix with gin? Today, we have invited some special genius to share with us about what is gin and all about gin. Yay, let's welcome our gene experts today. First, we have Nelson here, Chief Editor of Wine Lux Magazine. Hello, 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 Alex. Hello, hello. hello, Nelson. Hello, hello. And then next, we have Alex, the Beverage Development Manager of Tasting Screw. How are you all? Welcome, Nelson, and welcome, Alex. And today, our masterclass is very special because we have invited a gene expert from Singapore who is going to join us and share with us her world of spirits. So let's welcome the founder of Brathlands Distillery, Ms. Jamie Ko. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi, hello. How are you? It's great to have all of you here. And um, of course, we have to welcome all of our friends who are watching online right now. If you have any questions during our online masterclass, please feel free to type your questions, your comments, uh, through the chat box and we'll try to answer them as many as possible. So today the theme for our master class is the tale of two cities gene when brass lion meets Hong Kong taste. So let me pass the time to Nelson first and to introduce the tasting kits to us. So Nelson, today please. we have the tasting kit with three bottles of brass lion gin. It's a small bottle but uh, with different tastes. And also we have one bottle of tonic water and uh, measuring shot gas. So actually, when we do the, the cocktail, we need the shot gas. And also some garnish, uh, the garnish to decorate your cocktail. And also with a bar spoon. So this is a really complete tasting kit for the bar and also the cocktails. And you got to know that jeans from Brass Lion has never been to Hong Kong. So this tasting kit is limited edition for Hong Kong only, and the set is $600. So for those of you who haven't had the chance to buy them, you could visit our official website, masterclasses.discoverhongkong.com, and you could purchase them before they're all gone. So with Jamie here, of course, let's start with you. Let's start with um, knowing some of the background for Brass Lion Distillery. We want to know um, more story and the background of it. Could you share with us, please? Yes. So my journey started in 2012, so quite a while ago. I had the idea of creating a Singapore spirit, and there were not in Singapore. Um, so what happened was I had this journey all over the world. I went to the US to learn how to distill, and then this journey also took me to the UK as well as um, the Black Forest in Germany. So we were training under master distillers over there, um, and finally got the recipe for our Singapore dry gin. Once that was done, we came back to Singapore and we had to go through all the licensing as you can imagine. That took a very, very long time, about two to three years. And we finally opened our doors in 2018. So we're about two years old. So pretty new, but yeah. Right, so I know that you have uh, started the school for uh, quite a few years and you have a lot of different pictures that you would like to show us, I believe, and um, walk us through your uh, beautiful distillery or uh, gene school, right? Yes, that's right. So we took a two-story building. Um, if you can see it on screen, yes, that is our distillery. It's um, we're in the heart of all these offices, and then you have us, which is this little building in the middle of nowhere. It used to be an old um, warehouse, wood warehouse. So they used to store wooden furniture and make wood. And we took over this building. On the first floor is our entire manufacturing facility. So we manufacture all the gin on the first floor. Um, if you go to the next picture, you can see that that is Nala who is our 150 liter copper pot still. And we named her Nala after Simba's wife, because we're brass lion. And actually all stills are named after females. So um, Nala makes all of our gins. We have five different gins now. And after that, um, once we make all the gin, we also send some of the stuff upstairs because we have a full bar um, in the tasting room. 
So on to the next slide, you can see that we have, this is our tasting room. People can come in for happy hour, they can come for cocktails. Uh, this is the space where they get to try all our gins and we also make whiskey as well. So they can try some of that. And then behind this space on the second floor is where we have our R&D workshop. So this is a little room and we can actually uh, do a lot of small batches uh, on little pot stills. So if we go to the next picture, what you can see is, yeah, we have 10 of these mini pot stills imported from Germany. And all these stills are two liters, so it's enough to make one bottle of gin. Um, so we can do it for R&D, many ideas that we have, we can try out these stills. But people can also come in every week. So we have people like upstairs right now doing the gin school. And this is a two to two and a half hour session where they come in, pick their botanicals from our herb garden downstairs or from you know all the drawers that we have and they choose their flavor profile and distill their very, very own bottle of gin to take home at the very end of the day. Yep. Wow, thank you for sharing your story with us. And of course, I want to fly over right away to visit your school, I'm sure. Yeah. Same for Nelson and Alex. But before we could do that, how about with you here with us today? Could you walk us through the genes from the tasting kids? Walk us through and let us try together. Sure. Okay, so um, you guys have three gins with you. Yes. These are our first three gins. So the first gin that you have is our Singapore Dry Gin. So this is our flagship product. When we created or thought of the idea of a Singapore gin, we didn't want to just blindly copy a London dry gin style because that is quite juniper forward and quite heavy. Um, you guys have juniper berries with you as a garnish. You can just crush that a little bit and smell it. So juniper berries is what makes gin gin. Um, and we kind of have the juniper backbone, but we also wanted to ramp up the citrusy notes, the floral notes, because we are like in Singapore, we are a, a tropical country and we are in the tropics, so we wanted the gin to be more citrusy and more refreshing. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and try this gin. You have a tasting glass, um, a measuring glass in front of you. Yes. So you can measure out meals, or you can just pour, and let's try it. Yep. So for our online friends who have the tasting kits, so have your first glass ready. Yeah. Let's try it together. Wow, it's, it smells really good. I'm really new to gin, so I don't know what I'm expecting, but it smells really good to me. What about you, Nelson? So actually, I, I find the citrus really comes through. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. The citrus and also some floral notes. I think that's very important uh, because I think the gin, of course, the juniper berries is a backbone, but I think added uh, the floral notes and also some citrusy is uh, really good to um, to represent the style of Singapore. I think that is a very nice gin. Yes. Yeah, I love it. How about so what? Alex? We added pomelo peels as well as chrysanthemum flowers mm. and the torch ginger flowers so to create some interesting kind of citrus flavors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's cheer, let's try it. Cheers. 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 Let me try it. Wow. It's mm. quite strong to me, but it, mm. it's I like the aftertaste actually. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of warmth on the on the palate. So even though you have this really lovely kind of uh, floral nose. Uh, the, the finish and the body has a lot of kind of spices and warm kind of that kind of ginger um, uh, lemongrass flavor. Yeah, yeah. It really kind of balances out the flavor and gives you a very full rounded uh, flavor profile. Yeah, yeah. I like the I like the spice and also mm. the lemongrass. I, I I feel it and and it is really represents something uh, in the Asia. Yes. It's good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So how about we go on to our next one? I'm very attracted to the name itself, Jamie. <laughs> The Thai Pea Gin. So this is the blue one that you have um, in front of you. So Thai Pea Flower is something that we use in our local cuisine, our local Peranakan cuisine. And we actually grow these flowers in our backyard. Yes. So this flower, the flavor is quite earthy, but we ramped it up with extra lavender. So giving it a very, very floral nose. Mm. So let's go ahead and try it. Yes, I'm so eager to try this one because look at the color, so beautiful. It's purple, my favorite color. Wow. Even the label, um, you can oh see goodness. that we've added in the Peranakan tiles. When you go to Singapore, you can see all these tiles in all the old shop houses. So that's a, a very um, typical kind of motif and design that you see. Ooh. Yes, I really like this one because the floral yeah. smell mm. of it, the lavender. Many lavenders. Because Jamie mentioned it, I did smell yeah. lavender. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. And the color is very attractive. Yes. And um, uh, butterfly pea, 
I think it's a very good choice also because uh, uh, it's really special. I never tried the similar gin from all over the world, but this one is uh, something also represent the Singaporean and also very nice color with the very good flavor of the lavender. I, I really love it. Yeah, this is really nice. How about Alex? Yeah, I mean, like I said, that lavender explodes out of the glass. Mm -hmm. But one thing to note is that it's not just uh, a floral. On the, on, the on the palette, you have a lovely kind of balanced flavor. Again, you have this uh, roller coaster. And for me, this is a perfect gin to have in the daytime. Mm. Like, if this is going to be your first drink of the day, you yes. might start with this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I think of when I first drink it? I think of like as if I'm in uh, Bangkok or in Singapore. So yes. it makes me want to like imagine that I'm traveling right now, even though yeah. we can't. But something to uh, for the vacation <laughs> for satisfying yeah. our test, test, uh, taste buds first, right? Yeah. Thank it's you, Jamie, for introducing us the second one. How about we go on the third one? So what we have over here, you can see it's the Pahi Pink Gin. Okay. So. We launched just gin pahit um, earlier this year. And pahit actually means bitter in Malay. Mm, okay. So essentially, it is our version of the traditional cocktail pink gin, which the British used to drink, which is essentially gin, angustra bitters, and sweetened slightly. So what we've done is we've made our own version of it. So we use our Singapore dry gin as a base. We've, made, we've used Singapore bitters, so we make it in-house at a distillery from um, different ingredients from the traditional Chinese medicine shop, such as red dates, goji berries, uh, hawthorn santa. Um, we infuse that, make our own bitters, and then we kind of combine both of them together. Mm. So this one, this gin is great if you love Negronis, if you love old fashions. Yeah. Um, it's yes. just great to yeah. drink after dinner, like on the box. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it smells it's, it's good. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yes, let's toast together. Yeah. One, cheers. two, three, let's yeah. try it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Wow. This one is really complex. Yes, I taste, I, I do mm. taste the bitterness mm. yeah. of it. And also, just like Jamie said, it's, it's something, the, the elements like Lingroni, but uh, it's, it's more than that. I, I like the, the spice, uh, the, also the Asian spice. Yes. Very, very nice. It's quite Absolutely. strong. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, someone who drinks a lot of whiskey, uh, this is really speaks to me. Uh, yeah. I think uh, that, that warmth, it really reminds me of an old fashioned. I want to have it an old fashioned yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah. Or even just on the rocks. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Just I, on the rock, I think it's okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No need to mix anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope our online friends also like these three jeans that we just walked through. And we got a question from the chat box for Jamie. What kind of Singapore food would you suggest to pair with jeans? Ah, okay. Good question. So the first gin is a very citrusy gin, and it reminds me of, you know, um, you know, summer, a hot summer day. And this pairs very well with our local curries or chili crab. Like that just really cuts the richness of the curries. For the second gin, um, this goes very, very well with creamy stuff. So if you think of our local laksa, mm. this is a perfect accompaniment for that. And um, the third gin, because we have all these herbs and spices, you know, five spice powder kind of flavors, it goes really, really well with your crispy roast pork, your braised duck. You know, even in Hong Kong, if you're shao la, that kind of flavors, mm. it right. looks perfect. Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you, Jamie, for your sharing. I think our online friends could try that next time with the gin. And how about next, we pass the time to Alex and see what you can mix uh, the gin with. And let's pass the time to Alex now. Absolutely. So when, the, when you think about gin, the first thing you think about is maybe a gin tonic. So what we're going to do today is we're using the ingredients that's provided in the kit to make a wonderful gin tonic using the butterfly pea gin. Uh, it's a very simple drink. So what you need to do most is consider your technique. So what we have here is a glass that's really chilled. It's filled with ice. Um, and then we're going to add in a, a full measure of the butterfly uh, pea gin. In this case, we're talking about 45 mils. Actually, I, I like the color. Yes. And also, you know, this uh, butterfly pea, you can, you can have some magic. When, when he mix with something, wow. the color look change. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. The it's color really is really blue attractive. Now, though. Yeah. Absolutely. But here's the thing. When you have something like acidic, with something like a fever, like a tonic, yeah. uh, basically the acid changes the color of pigments in the butterfly pea, yeah. turning into a lovely, lovely uh, pink color. Yeah, so you so see the magic. Watch, <laughs> watch the glass carefully as we carefully pour the glass tonic okay. into into the drink. Yeah, yeah. Magic time. Yeah. Wow. You see. So beautiful. <laughs> right before your eyes, the color changes to a yeah. lovely pink color. Yes. So what we're gonna do is just stir a little bit yeah. to incorporate the gin and the tonic yeah. together. 
So you can mix it uh, in at home. I think this is really, yeah, really good. Yeah, you can good. try that at home, right? It's quite yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, show yeah. off to your friends. Exactly, yeah, show right? off to the friends. To your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, in a party, I think yes. that's so easy. Exactly. Yeah. So now one of the key things in making a cocktail is to garnish it with things that are appropriate to the flavor profile, mm -hmm. or even for its color. In this case, we're garnishing with a dehydrated uh, grapefruit slice, which is inside your kit. And like any, any uh, gin is made with uh, juniper. juniper. So we're going to use some uh, lovely juniper to kind of accent the top aroma of that cocktail. Wow. So it's a little three pieces, which are also included in your kit as well. Yeah, so nice. Yeah. And it's easy. So actually, I think if you can mix it like this at home, <laughs> so everybody... It's not all that hard either. You, right. everything's, everything and you need is in the house yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's not easy to find ingredients. <laughs> so with this beautiful cocktail here, let's talk about the trend. What's the cocktail trend nowadays? Um, how about we start with Jamie? Jamie, you want to talk, share with us about the trend? Yep. So in Singapore, I think, um, you know, in the past couple of years, there's been this explosion in cocktail bars and mm. people are starting to care more and more about craft spirits and their backstory, how it's made and what spirit's all about. Um, so I guess in Singapore, like there's this growing awareness. So we came in at the right time because uh, this is kind of the time where, uh, you know, we get to educate people about it. Um, also, people are starting to discover local um, ingredients and botanicals. So there's this bar called Native. They only stock local um, Southeast Asian spirits and they also use a lot of local ingredients and techniques. So I think that's a huge trend as well as sustainability as well. Mm -hmm. And we are kind of right on the, um, you know, we try to be as sustainable as we can. We reuse all our spent botanicals in the gin. Um, and we recently actually bottled our gin in bigger um, bottles as well. So that when bars take the gin, um, they actually get it in a 4.5 meter bottle that they then transfer mm -hmm. to smaller bottles. Um, and that helps to save glass waste as well as packaging waste. So, you know, the big trends like local as well as sustainability. Thank you, Jamie. It's interesting to know. Absolutely. How about the trends in Hong Kong? Alex yes. and Nelson, let's share about that. Actually, I think in Hong Kong, in these two, three years, uh, gin is the big hit. It's really, really uh, popular in Hong Kong in many bars and also some specific uh, gin bar in Hong Kong. And uh, there are many uh, upcoming uh, distillery also in Hong Kong because I think uh, in Hong Kong we have different kinds of uh, ingredients and for gin uh, the main mainly uh, we can choose some botanicals locally so we can try some local ingredients and local idea and infuse in the gin I think that is really really a good try and also you know Hong Kong people are very creative yes and so uh, we can try something really really different and uh, at, at, the, at the gin bar, we try something even with the Vita Soy, with the oh, gin, wow. and also some uh, Chinese herbal tea uh, in the gin. I think that is really, really cool and uh, yes. very interesting. And people in Hong Kong love, you know, they're creative and yeah, they also like yeah, surprises yeah. and, you know, they're yeah, very something open-minded. You, you, you never imagined, so you can try at the bar. Right, that's great. Thank <laughs> and you. And how about Lavender? <laughs> no, I agree with everything you guys said. Uh, just like uh, Jamie mentioned, um, something about uh, story, about sustainability is very, very important. So not just the spirit itself, but if you're talking about a cocktail, people want to learn about all the ingredients inside. So whether or not the, the lemon juice you have sustainable, whether or not you went out and uh, sourced the ingredients sustainably, uh, who sold it to you, what does it do inside the cocktail, not just for flavor, but also is it telling a story mm. as well. Right. Yeah. I think that's one of the most important things right now is because yeah. a great flavor is something that a lot of trained bartenders can achieve, but it's about hospitality and making sure that you're fully immersed in that cocktail. Mm. Right, yes. right. And with Alex here, how about we ask you to teach us an other way or other ingredients to um, mix a cocktail for us? Absolutely, it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> so today we'll be making one cocktail. Uh, it's called the Inseparable. The idea is that we uh, wanted to um, focus on the Brass Lions uh, story and the Hong Kong story. Yes. Uh, so we use ingredients which are common to both uh, of these uh, locales. So first of all, I'm going to prepare my glassware. I prepared three glasses for three cocktails for three of us. Wow. I could try it this Good. time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a big rock. Wow. A big ice makes, means that uh, it will melt slowly, so you can mm. enjoy it right away. Right. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. And this is something we could try at home, right? Absolutely. So if you have to happen to have the ingredients on hand, mm. uh, something you can uh, get your wet market and uh, mm. do a little bit of work at home, you can yeah. process into something uh, that will work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely, you can make it at home. So we have a cocktail shaker, and first of all, we're gonna add in our gin. 
Now I'm making three drinks. It may look like a lot of gin, but uh, don't, don't worry. There are three cocktails worth in here. Mm. So we have 45 mils of the Singapore uh, dry brass lion first. Mm -hmm. That's the first gin that we tried today. Exactly. Yeah, the first one. That's the original taste. Right. Yeah. And I, I love the, um, uh, the taste of the uh, lemongrass. Yes. And also the, the pamelo peel. And so it, it gives them um, some citrusy and also the floral and a really uh, tropical yes. feeling. So this is good. And I, I, I found um, Alex making something really tropical. Exactly right. So those, <laughs> those, those elements inside the gin, gin you have uh, the lemongrass. Uh, it, for me, it speaks to a uh, chocolate flavor, so I'm using a little bit of mango here. Mm, so in yeah. one cocktail, we have, 50, uh, we have uh, 30 mils of uh, mango puree. Mm. Now, of course, when you hear mango, you're all automatically assuming it's going to be sweet. But yes. uh, don't you worry. Even though that this is inspired by a local Hong Kong dessert, like mm -hmm. uh, mango saimalo and mango, mango day, <laughs> we're not making a dessert drink here. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people love the, that dessert. Do you like it, Jamie? <laughs> Do you like mango? What do you call it? Sai Milo. Uh, I don't Mongos know what, what you Sai call Milo. it in English. But, um, <laughs> you guys have it there too, right, Jamie? Have it. Hong Kong desserts are very, very popular in Singapore. Yeah, yes, I think in, Hong, yes. in, in, in different countries, uh, the Mongo Sai Milo is... It's, it's very famous. <laughs> Absolutely. So I just added a little bit of a coconut cream inside. This mm. one, uh, any kind of coconut cream will do, but for a Hong Kong story, we're using Yan Chim Ki. Yan Chim Ki. Yan Chim Ki is a local brand of uh, yeah. coconut candies. Also signature from Hong Kong. <laughs> now, of course, uh, these two ingredients are a little sweet, but next up is a bitter ingredient. This is something that's going to balance that fruitiness, that sour, yeah. that uh, sweetness, yeah, yeah, yeah. and give it a bit more complexity. Yeah. So what I have here is a uh, aperitivo wine. It's called Coqui Americano. Mm -hmm. I've infused that with chrysanthemums and uh, osmanthus flowers. Okay. So there's 15 mils of this in each drink. Mm. So I'm putting 45 in total. And finally, just for balance, we're adding a little bit of lime juice. Lime juice. This will help cut through that kind of richness, that acidity, yeah. uh, that sweet, sorry, sweetness, yeah. and give it a lot more balance. Yeah. Balance is very important because yes. uh, sometimes you, you don't want um, the cocktail too sweet. Yes. So uh, with some um, some lemon juice and something citrusy, and uh, it makes makes it more balanced, and uh, you can drink more freshness. Yes, because maybe <laughs> I believe gentlemen tend to uh, like um, drinks that are less yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we want to balance it out so yeah, so, yeah. so that both gentlemen and ladies. But of course, the, the color of this uh, cocktail I think is. Seems very rich. Yes. But uh, let's taste it. Yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. So yeah. now we had ice in a shaker of all the ingredients and we shake. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm looking at so close. <laughs> I look at your muscles. <laughs> You need a lot of strength to uh, shake it. It's a gym it. and a job at the same time. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> So we, if we do try at home, how long should we shake this cocktail? Uh, so we do it by feel and bar, but really what you're looking for is for the shaker to feel ice cold, mm -hmm. which should take around about 15 seconds. 15 okay, seconds. 15 seconds. Okay. So actually when you're shaking, it's a show time. Yes. So I, I need to learn. <laughs> <laughs> and look at, I was totally looking at um, <laughs> Alex. Alex postures and his muscles, and yes. now I get to try it. I'm so looking forward to it. And the color looks beautiful. Very I'm beautiful. sorry, Jamie, you only, you, you have to guess the taste now, right? Try to imagine. Yes, could you imagine with your own gene and the, all the other ingredients that um, Alex had added? Go so, to run to the dessert shop later and buy some. <laughs> yes. So now we're garnishing the cocktail. So I mentioned you by using complementary ingredients. Mm. Okay. We're using uh, more mango this time, some diced mango yeah. to garnish off. It really looks like a mango pudding. Yes. <laughs> so in this case, uh, garnishing is all about color. So sometimes you have contrast, sometimes you can have uh, similar colors. So right mm. now I'm adding some chrysanthemum flower petals. Oh. Yeah. So we have yellow on yellow on yellow. Yeah. Wow, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Chrysanthemum, I never thought you would put that in the cocktail. Uh, if you have a little bit in your drink, then if you have a little sip together, then it gives a bitterness as well. And like I said, it really accentuates those tropical herbal notes inside the gin as well. Mm, yeah. Here we are, folks. Thank inseparable. you. Wow. Wow, this inseparable. Looks really nice. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, are you thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> how about while we tried this, we also passed the time to Jamie. How about you um, demonstrate a uh, Singapore-style cocktail for us? 
and we could enjoy our cocktails together. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so when people, people always ask me, like, what's my favorite cocktail? And for me, it always depends on the time of the day or my mood. But this cocktail that I'm going to be demonstrating to you guys today is a very, very easy cocktail. And it's, uh, I feel it's really representative of Singapore because um, Singapore is hot. And I always want something cool and refreshing and easy to drink. And when you go to the hotter centers, you always get calamansi juice. So this is um, what we're going to be using as the main um, ingredient for this cocktail. So over here, I have my glass. Okay, eyeball glass. We have made um, over here the calamansi syrup. So we do freshly squeeze the calamansi juice and then we sweeten it slightly. So I have 25 ml of this. I'm just going to pour that right into my glass. And then because we need to balance out the sweetness, we also have freshly squeezed lemon juice. So this is 30 ml and I'll just pour it right in as well. Okay. Now we have the Singapore Dry Gin. So the Singapore Dry Gin is great for cocktails because it's very versatile and you can use it for most gin-based cocktails. So I'm going to be adding one shot of that. And all that just goes right into the glass. Here. Okay. I'm going to give it a quick little stir. Add some more ice. Remember, this drink is supposed to be very, very refreshing. Yes, mm. I can tell. Yes. We are us yes. we're using our imaginations now. <laughs> and then after that, for some bubbles and carbonation, I'm going to top it up with tonic water, or um, I like soda water as well. Either one works. So I'll just top that right up. Let's see what it is. Wow. Looks nice. Yes. Look at those bubbles, huh? <laughs> and then we've also made some homemade hibiscus tea. So I'm just going to so we layer that magic up. too Ooh. wow wow look at those colors my goodness yeah nice color <laughs> and very very refreshing perfect on a hot day good and this yes. is that what's the name of this cocktail jamie it's called the lion city spritz wow mm, and city. our yes. online viewers could also try um jamie's cocktail as well yeah, actually yeah, yeah. with um cocktails in our hands let's try it let's do a toast together cheers 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 cheers, cheers. 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 let's try it Wow, I really like this one because I like that chrysanthemum taste. I mean, I never thought I would taste that in a cocktail. And of course, <laughs> with the mango and mm. a little bit of coconut cream, it's, mm. it's really nice. It's, yeah, it's really nice. So, yeah, I love uh, I love the, the taste of this. I always like um, the mango flavor mm. with uh, with different kinds of cocktail. But this one, I think, is not too sweet and also with the um, uh, balance of the yes. acidity. I think it's good. I mean, it was a great uh, experience making this drink because both Singapore and Hong Kong have wonderful food cultures. Mm. And those ingredients uh, are really interchangeable and really demonstrate the, the kind of food that we have in our cities. Mm. Right. And it makes a great drink as well. Yeah. So Jamie, why don't you tell us about your cocktail and tell us about the taste. <laughs> I know we are using our imaginations, but you have to describe a bit more for us. <laughs> So today, I don't know about what the weather is like in Hong Kong, but it was really, really hot. And, um, you know, I was running from events to events. So, you know, it's really the perfect drink, like right now. Like this is really what, exactly what I needed. Um, it's ice cold, it's refreshing, there's carbonation, and it's not too sweet. So I don't like my drinks too sweet. Um, so it's quite tart um, and just, yeah, perfect for a hot day. Thank you, Jamie. And of course, thank you, Nelson and Alex, for sharing all the insights and doing all the demonstrations. So a warm reminder that the jeans from Brass Lions has never been to Hong Kong. And so this tasting kit, um, it's limited editions for Hong Kong, all of our fans. So if anyone haven't had the chance to order, please visit our official website and you could order them. And meanwhile, while we're um, enjoying this cocktail, how about we um, answer some of the questions from our online friends? Yeah. So the the first one is for Jamie. Any new flavors of gin that will launch? Jamie? So we've launched several new versions of gin. We're just waiting for the right time to slowly roll them out. So recently, we've launched our barrel aged gin. Mm. We made Singapore's first whiskey. And since we're bringing the cask in, what we did was we decided, oh, we have a cask anyways. Let's fill the next cask with gin. 
Mm. So with gin, you don't actually have to age it as long as whiskey because you still want to retain the gin flavors you know, and yes. not overwhelm it with the cast. Yeah. So over here, we have our newly launched barrel aged gin. Wow. So wow. this is very nice. Um, and it's, you know, it's caramel, it's ex bourbon cast. So mm. vanilla and caramel notes. We actually just won a gold award for this. So it's one of my favorites. Yes. Oh. Um, next that, we have one that we did a collab. So with Singapore Airlines, I think with Singapore Airlines, when someone thinks of Singapore Airlines, uh, the signature batik print is what oh. they would think about. So we have the batik gin. Oh. The print. Wow. That's a lovely yeah, bottle. Yeah, I like yeah, the design yeah. of the yes. bottle too. Very attractive. So what we've done is that we've kind of reimagined the flavors of a Singapore sling. Because people sometimes think that Singapore sling might be too sweet or, you know, too mm. syrupy. But we've actually made it into a gin. So we use the core components of Singapore sling like pineapple, you know, we use a lot of fresh pineapple with this. Um, instead of, let's say, cherries, we use hawthorn, sansa instead. Oh. Instead of luck, we actually use the calamansi. So this is our version of Singapore sling gin. Yep. Wow. wow. I haven't tasted that. I already want it. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really want it. Thank you, Jamie. That's something that we should look forward to in the future, right? Thank you, Jamie. And now the next question is, I, I believe, is for Nelson and Alex because um, <laughs> someone just asked, what kind of Hong Kong food is good to pair with jeans? For me, I, I like uh, uh, something really authentic, um, like the Hong Kong street food. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, something really like a deep fried uh, octopus or maybe deep fried fish ball, even. Uh, I've tried uh, with the stinky tofu. Oh wow! <laughs> because uh, sometimes uh, when you when you taste uh, the gin and tonic or something very refreshing cocktail, I think I, I like something uh, really uh, deep fried and uh, with a different kind of taste so strong, mixed together. Strong flavor. Strong right? flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How about, How about Alex? You? Well, for me, if we're talking about um, gin pairings with Hong Kong food, I think uh, anything with, that uses a lot of white pepper mm. might be really suitable to pair together with gin. Um, uh, scallions and those kind of uh, things like uh, abalone gonji, for example, might be really nice. Or steamed fish, even a lot of ginger. Ooh, yeah. Um, if you're talking about uh, the brass lines patik gin, I think uh, cha siu is probably really, really <laughs> yeah, good yeah, to get yeah, yeah, with yeah. that. Wow. So I guess you could try all of these different combinations and see what you like the best, right? Basically. Yeah. So how about one more question from our chat box? Is uh, the question is what fruit do we serve the gin with? What can we? What, what kind of fruit? Well, I think that's a pretty easy one. Um, almost every fruit works. I, personally, I prefer tropical fruits uh, with things with high acidity. So uh, things like, of course, mango, like in this cocktail here, pineapples. Yeah. Um, things with less acidity, like dragon fruit, maybe not so much. Mm. Uh, but definitely, even something more run-of-the-mill, like uh, strawberries and mm. uh, raspberries, I think will do very well with gin. Yeah, I, uh, I sometimes I try that with the grapefruit. Uh, yeah, and also uh, even lime, I think is, uh, is very suitable with the uh, gin. Uh, different kinds of fruit, I think is a very many, many possibility. Right, thank you. <laughs> How about Jamie? Jamie, what kind of fruit do you like to serve with gin? Um, like Alex said, we use actually pineapple. Uh, we think that that's a perfect complement for uh, you know, citrusy um, and refreshing gin. We also use a lot of grapefruit. Mm. So, right. But actually, most fruits work. Yeah. So like we said previously, just try with different fruits and find the, the taste that you like. And there are many possibilities for jeans and just have fun with it, right? Mm. Just just enjoy it. And of course, we had a, such a great time today. Yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Nelson, for you. all of your sharings and demonstrations. And uh, to end this class, let's have a toast together. Are we almost finishing this oh, drink yeah. before we almost finish? Let's <laughs> also have a selfie together how about that okay good so we could have a photo with um jamie in singapore at the same time so ready okay one two three cheers, cheers. well i hope all of our uh, viewers online are having a lot of fun with us today and um after the gene i believe a lot of you might want to enjoy some Food. So later today at 6 p.m., a chef team from Korea will demonstrate two authentic recipes with us. So for those of you who have ordered the uh, cooking uh, cooking kit, please get them ready. Well, my mouth is already drooling. I'm sure we're all hungry, right? So we'll hope you have a good time and uh, stay tuned for the program. Have fun, everyone, and have a great weekend. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Jamie, once Cheers. again. Cheers. Thank you, Jamie. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Bye. Bye.
香港美酒佳肴巡礼，网上大师班，一年三个星期六日，精彩节目同你畅饮畅聚。嚟到最后一个星期，呢、這个周末邀请大家参加超级 party， 启发自经典法式甜品，口味独特，矜贵创新。酒店行政总厨为你亲身示范。全艺大师公开家传食谱，整啱晒开 party 食嘅印度著名咖喱鸡。星级调酒师 J c a n 会教大家调制荷里活式龙舌兰鸡尾酒。有冇谂过手工啤配便利店小食，原来可以咁夹咁好玩？酿酒师 Chris 话过你知。结合川菜同粤菜嘅优点。名厨邵德龙师傅创作出鲜味十足嘅沸腾鱼香。如果葡萄酒同芝士系绝配，咁手工啤夹芝士又会有乜嘢化学作用呢？侍酒师 Kingson 同芝士专家 Bonnie 会即场拆解。网上大师班，周日压轴呈现，味蕾新势力。味觉、视觉同样精彩，厨艺大师用招牌主菜三黄鸡完美展示。委内瑞拉粟米粽你可能听都未听过，名厨会分享呢一样自己家乡嘅圣诞节美食。世界级调酒师 Antonio 同专业咖啡师 Timmy 会联手发掘威士忌同咖啡之间嘅种种混合美学。威士忌之乡苏格兰有六大产区，更有唔同地理、风土以及历史。威士忌达人大路开展苏格兰威士忌之旅，食咗当去咗，喺屋企学整地道嘅西班牙海鲜饭，一齐回味西班牙。原桶入樽同够晒纯正味道嘅威士忌，品酒杂志总编辑 Nelson 率先同你试饮。一个网睇晒直播同点播，完全免费。